Hey guys, this is Killing86, aka Raymond. What a great series finale, but I have a feeling that it's not going to be over yet. Now guys, as you can see, I'm wearing my Fun Times t-shirt. And this raises a lot of questions of what we just saw from part one and part two. Sorry about that. Here, let me, sorry about that. Let me turn this down for a bit. Anyway, so, we saw the devil himself, Damien. And let me tell, first off, guys, I want to say that that was great makeup, like I said before in my reaction video, that this was a great makeup and everything. I'm sure it was created by the same guy who did McJoker Nuggets and McMunker Nuggets. See him as the Joker, see him as a monkey, things like that. But it raises a lot of questions after what we just saw in this video. It was kind of hard. It was a hard decision to say, who should we save? Should we save... Isaac, or should we save Psycho Kid? A lot of a lot of times, th this actually ran through my mind. I was wondering, like, who should we save? Who should be the one to go? It was a hard decision, guys. And listen, believe me, Psycho Kid was one of the greatest characters that Jesse has ever created. Despite all the other ones that we've seen, Tony Trevorelli and also Sergeant Jackson, it was hard to see all of them go. But it does raise the question about how was Jesse there? Jesse was the mirror man, and then the devil was right there. So it, it kind of actually produced a lot of questions. A lot of questions. So basically, what what we saw from part one, when the, actually from the devil's lost souls, we found out that Ursula was the one who came up and asked them for help. You know, from the gems, and then from the necklace, put it together, and bam, there you go. But... All those mirrors, so all these mirrors, they were gateways, but judging from how that uh, that Big Brother was the one who shattered the glass and then he popped him out. So that kind of make it understandable that that wasn't really Jesse that we saw, it was actually the devil himself. But it made you wonder, like, where was Jesse? So Jesse was the mirror man the whole time. So basically... Maybe maybe Parker wasn't supposed to be back. I actually thought he was going to come back. So I think that's what it is. Maybe it was a year. I, I'm Well, judging from the info that I've gotten, he was supposed to be a carrier for two years. But uh, what makes me wonder if Swift's actually going to be the, the cameraman. But judging from the end of the part two, it kind of did. So he killed the devil, but the devil just... just exploded into millions of gems. So that kind of makes you wonder, what are those gems? Why did he leave all those gems? As you guys may have remembered, all the souls were in those gems. So judging from all these, uh, the gems that we've seen on the floor, it kind of makes me wonder if those are the souls that the devil took, or maybe those were the characters that he took. So, what's to come? What is to come? So guys, I... I have taken pictures, if you guys followed me on Twitter, uh, which is KingLink86, as always, you can see me as uh, Kruger. He, uh, I was able to get at the end all the pictures, all the things that we've seen. We see from 2006 all the way to 2017, and then after that it was 2018. Then there was RIP 2018. So that kind of tells me in 2018 we're going to see something amazing around there, starting from the beginning. Although this week, I mean not this week, this year still, Although we're halfway, we are actually halfway on the uh, in October. Uh, judging from what we've seen right there, this was like done days ago. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. I, I'm guessing. So, what we just watched. So, Psycho Kid was gone, and then Jesse really took it hard. Like I wrote, like I wrote to him on Twitter. You may have, he may have destroyed the mirrors. He may have kept snapping in and out of characters. But only you can determine who you are and who you're meant to be. <sighs> Seeing him destroy all those mirrors in part one, that was really sad. Seeing Sergeant Jackson, Lenny, and everybody else being gone. That was terrible. But here's the here's the question that I would I want to ask. At the end of part one, we actually seen Isaac and Psycho Kid side by side. Now the real question is, where's the mirror? Of Isaac, because last I checked, it was hanging on that pool railing alongside Psycho Kid, and then the devil actually was in the woods, 
right by that door where Psycho Brother Stomp's glasses part, and also that door. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm a little tired. It's a lot today. And despite all that, where is that mirror of Isaac? That's the question. So here's the thing. Jesse's back, and he snapped and bam, the, bam, he... He killed him, and then he snapped into and put him into millions of gems. So the real question is, why did he ho hold on to that necklace? That get, that is the the biggest Easter egg right there. He had the necklace. And he said, "I guess there's only I guess there's only one creator here," and he said, I, "He wins." So he actually gave in. Oh, sorry, he actually gave in to the devil. So he's actually going to bring Isaac back. So, what what's to come? That is the question. Although the series is over, I'm sure that we're gonna we have to wait uh, two days, which is uh, tomorrow and Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be the vi the video that we're going to be waiting for. What what's what, what are we going to look forward to? We are going to see Isaac back again. But the real question is. How is it? How is he going to complete this story? Now, one thing that really bugged me was at the at the time where we saw the devil talking about how he goes from one place to another, and then after that, we he's seen him in the mirrors. He said, "I'm going to create my son Isaac and send him to this world." This was like in the beginning, I believe. Did, have you guys noticed that they, they were in Aunt Jackie's house and they were doing a reconstruction? This kind of this kind of raises a lot of questions. Is are we gonna go back to Aunt Jackie's house where it all began? Let me remind you guys that within the Psycho series, he created the Haunted series where they used the Ouija board, was talking to a demon, things like that, and then we saw then we saw Emma. After that, we met Damien. What that was out of there, and they were together. Oh, sorry, guys, I gotta stop yawning. Sheesh. But after that, despite despite what we just seen, I have a feeling that we are gonna go to. Uh, I bet Isaac's story is gonna be based on at Aunt Jackie's house. It kind of it kind of makes you wonder that is that really Aunt Jackie's house? If you guys remember, the screen door doesn't close, and I like how Jesse was like, "Oh, come on, close the door." There you go. Now he was back in the, into the scene. So, I like I said, Aunt Jackie's house might be the source of where Isaac's story is actually going to go. And but the real question is, are we going to see Emma? So one of the one of you guys uh, that subscribed to me on either Twitter or YouTube actually posted and said, "What if we're going to see Emma? What if we're going to actually going to see the mom and the dad?" That is the, the question, but let's remind everybody that uh, Damien was actually Psycho Kid's creation, and now he, with Emma, it kind of makes you wonder who is going to play Emma. That's the thing. That is the thing. Hmm. Well, I bet a lot, a lot's to come. But here's, I, I, kept, I know I keep saying that all the time. Sorry. I just like to keep repeating myself. Just bear with me on that. So, also one thing. You guys remember that Isaac had a fling with Juliet. And then when Jesse came back, he actually found out that those two actually hooked up. Things like that. But Juli Juliet actually believed that Jesse was was playing that character. And so he just went along with it. But here's the here's the idea. What if Isaac actually finds out that Juliet was actually playing him along? And he said, "You said you love me. You said you, you said you you like me no matter what." And I said, "Yeah, because you were Jesse, not because I thought you were Jesse playing a character. So I just went along with it. So it makes you wonder what's going to happen if that route goes, how that route will go. Because if Isaac does come back, I'm sure he will be, because he gave into the devil's demands." And Isaac's going to come back. He's going to finish the story. But it's just, it's just the wonder how will it end. We saw how it end with him when he decided to double snap and then he just went back to his mirror world where he belonged.
But if he's going to be back here in our world, it kind of makes you wonder how he's going to handle it. Or are we going to see the same Isaac that we've known up to seven up to seven months? See him do this, see him do that, do these crazy pranks, horrible things. It kind of makes you wonder, uh, will he remember all that? Or are we going to see a new start? So, only time will tell, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Because I'm sure you guys saw the new uh, Twitter profile picture that McJordan has just put out. It was the devil inside mask, and he's going to leave it up there until Halloween, I would say. <laughs> this is going to be something. So, whatever comes our way, we are going to see what's going to happen soon. Well, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reactions, more gameplay. Drop some likes on this video if you enjoyed this. Man, part one and two. So, hey, we, we were able to see Parker for a little bit. A little bit. And uh, the Devil's Lost Gems. But the real question is, well, is Swift really going to be the cameraman? I have a feeling he will, because judging from Jeffrey's response, he's like, ugh. I guess we know who the cameraman is. <laughs> I think we all knew that it was going to be Swift anyway. Come on. It was really simple and really easy to do. So, will, will we see Parker again? I think we will. And as for the wizard, we're going to see him again. Because if you guys remember back in the video of The Devil Inside, when he told him that when was the last time that you tried to hurt yourself instead of breaking mirrors and then he ran away and said Isaac where are you going we're going to be back here at the at, again we're going to be back here again so whatever's going to happen he's going to go back to that actual spot and that's where the wizard will be so I think if we do see Isaac again we'll go back to that exact spot and the, I bet the wizard will be the one to bring him back I think he will bring him back what do you guys think? Do you guys think the wizard will bring him back? Or do you think Jesse will bring him back? Or is he already released? So, <laughs> we're going to have some fun times again. So, I wonder how Jesse's going to gonna react to this kid. Seeing these two face to face again, finally. After looking through a mirror, they're going to see each other face to face. I'm sure, I'm sure of it. So, only time will tell. Well, guys, thank you guys for watching this video, and don't forget to stay positive and have some fun times again.